All right, boys. So in this video, we are playing some more Roblox box roots, and I got myself Mara here with me. Now hurry up and stop jumping. Why? I'm excited. For what? I'm in a clan now. A clan? Where did you find this clan? They're going to help me level up and learn the game, since you're always too busy for me. Well, I got the time right now to help you, so what do you mean? Nope, I promise them. Anyways, they're super cool, and they're super pro. You want to meet them? Nah, I don't even want to meet these guys. Come on, babe please. They are my friends. I'll meet them later. I don't even want to right now. If you don't come with me, I'm gonna steal your cat. Bro, you can't be doing that. Yes, I can. Now come with me or else. Fine. Guess I have to like freaking stalker by like the dock area and there's like a weird looking captain guy here. What? Captain. Hello. This is my boy. I'm just gonna wave at him. Ew. Who is this guy? I'm the richest box root player. No, you're not. Number school's the richest player. And in second place, you are a filthy peasant. So you brought me here to get roasted? No, no, no. Why don't you want me to talk in private with her? I'm really sorry. He's never like that. Well, you're giving me a bad impression of your new friends. Okay, okay. Listen, he must be having a bad day. Let me introduce you to my bestie, Sarah, please. Fine. She's right here, like, hugging a building for some reason. Okay. Were you spying on us, Sarah? No. I was just staring at the wall. Only depressed people do that, bro. I think you need to go get some help. And by the way, who is this? Clearly, I'm her boy friend. Well, I think he's sort of out of your league. He's kind of ugly. You can definitely do better. Bro, why is this girl roasting me? First a captain and now this random pirate girl. What? Sarah? Don't say that. Uh, nah, man. She wants to throw hands. I will beat her up right in front of her. What? I can't say the truth? Anyways, we are gonna go. Your new friends are toxic. Babe, I'm sorry. They aren't to me. Did you bully them before? I never even talked to them before. So how would I? I was just making sure Anyways, I promised them that I'll go sailing. I'll hang out with you tonight. So you're just gonna leave me all alone here? Maybe we can go on a little date. Fine. You can just leave. Now she's trying to give me a kiss. And you know what your boy's gonna do? It's time for me to go undercover and just stalk Mara. She went to the dock area where Sarah and the captain are at. The gang's all here. Oh, it looks like that you met Sarah already. Yeah, me and her are besties now. But anyways, outside of your weird roleplay, let's go. And why did like the captain guy call her babe? Can I I drive? Only the captain drives a boat. Now go sit down. Why can't the captain only drive? So Mara went back to her seat and she doesn't even look happy. This captain guy seems like he needs to go get himself a life instead. Man, he's just trying to screw up everyone's feelings. Wait, are there sea monsters out there? No, only in the third seas. Is that a sea monster that I hear? Where? I heard something and this man just pulled out his gun. Nah, no way that they heard me just moving around in the water, bro. Don't worry, Mara. I'll protect you, babe. Please protect me. I'm worried that I'm gonna die. Just stay close to me. You're just so sweet, Sarah. But, uh, Captain, can we please get out of here and go to land? I hate the ocean. Then why did you agree to go sailing with them? Well, you joined the pirate crew and you need to learn to love the ocean. But I don't even love it. It scares me. Let me just do, like, a quick little sneak attack right here. Let me just go ahead, smack him like that. And Mara's close to dying. The sea monster. Did you just push me down? I'll drive and no, I didn't. It was just a sea monster. Yeah, this tiny little sea monster monster can deal a lot of damage. They made Mara cry. And now Mara's complaining to Sarah about everything. How could you? You know that she's scared. And don't even push her to do something that she doesn't want to do. And you know what? I'm gonna be driving the boat. You can go take a break, Captain. He agreed to it. And now Sarah is taking over the boat. I know the perfect place to take you somewhere safe. And it looks like they're heading to the underwater sea. And it looks like they made it to the underwater city. Wait, you want to go in there? Don't worry. I'll hug you safe. I'll make sure that you're not hurt. Sarah, you back off. I'll hold her hand. This captain guy is sus, bro. He's trying to hold my girl's hand? Let's do this, I guess. Now they're jumping in the whirlpool hole. It's so much cooler down here. Well, yeah. If you're underwater and there's like a giant sea castle, I would want to explore it. We brought you here so you can be safe from the sea monsters. Wait, so no sea monsters spawn here? I'm gonna be living here forever. And I should also tell my boyfriend to tell him. He probably doesn't even know this place. Boyfriend? That's me. What? I literally introduced you to him earlier. You're cheating on me. Bro, this captain guy is not dating Mara. This is unacceptable. I'll be right back. And now Mara's running off. He made her just feel super uncomfortable. Sarah, this is unbelievable. And if she doesn't break up with him, I will have to kick her out. I definitely think she should leave him. And Sarah just agreeing with him. He's just so out of her league. Now Mara's calling me on Discord. Yo, what happened? Um... 
I think you might have been right. Right about what? Well, I just don't think my new friends are really that nice. Are they trying to, like, bully you or something? Are they hurting you? No, I think they're trying to hit on me. They're telling me they're flirting with you. Okay, I'm on my way. So I just found her all alone here in, like, a corner, bro. You okay? Shush. Why do you want me to keep it down? That's because I'm hiding. You don't even need to hide from anyone. I'm here now. Wait, the captain guy. And Sarah's right here, too, bro. There you are. Mara just ran behind me. Oh, hey. You can either pick your boyfriend or pick the pirate crew. You're making me choose. Choose? Yes. Now tell me the answer that you're going to choose. The obvious answer is going to be me, right? And if she chooses a pirate crew, she's an L girlfriend. And the man that you're currently in a relationship with, it's making my eyes bleed. Bruh, this girl named Sarah, she really wants a fight, bro. I'll beat her up right now on the spot. And you're saying I have no other options but you. And this isn't even choosing. You're forcing me. Well, how about whoever rolls the best fruit gets to keep her? I can simply teleport everyone to the jungle, but it's two fruits versus one. I don't care. They can roll first. Now the captain guy is talking to like the boxer gotcha. And this man seriously just rolled out a smoke fruit? And she rolled out spring. Okay, boys. You can't be telling me that I have more trashier luck than that. I'm about to spend 300k and I did pull something worse than that. It's a spin fruit. Let me just drop this garbage in here. Hopefully they didn't even see me. So, what did you roll? It better be good. I mean, a fruit just spawned in. I need to go pick it up. So, I teleported myself to Maureen Starter Island. And we just found ourselves a quake fruit. This is W Riz. Now I'm back at like the boxer gotcha. Why did you leave? Well, I just remembered that I rolled early and I dropped the fruit somewhere. That's because he was trying to hide it. Anyways, she's saying this fruit is fake. Would I lie about it when I can easily just drop it and give it to her? He pulled it out of his inventory. Oh my god. And a Sarah girl just looks like she's salty about it. What did I tell you guys? You guys can't even win her over. You're just a simp. And you can never accept the fact that you're ugly. It's like you guys want to fight me so bad why don't you guys do it then fight us then in a 2v1 fight and if we win we are going to get mara and if you lose well you lose mara that sounds easy enough bro i already gave her like one of the best fruits in the game and i'm about to be clopping both of these people's cheeks and i don't think they'll be ready once i use like the shadow fruit babe keep this and think about me and she gave me the quake fruit all right i guess i'll store it since i already own 20 quake fruits are you guys ready to lose here because the two of you are going to get destroyed. We'll see about that. And she pulled out the gun. Let's just hope that you get humiliated in front of your own girlfriend. That's never going to happen, bro. Three, two, one, go. Now the captain guy is just trying to use his flame fruit. The other person has leopard fruit. Okay, this might be like a harder challenge to fight, I guess. But I literally just killed this guy in one shot. The other girl's trying to rush me with her leopard when I can easily just use my giant ball like that. Use my shadow powers and I just clopped her in one shot too. That was pretty easy. He would never lose. You're a hacker. Oh, wow. Mr. Captain Man is now making up a bunch of excuses just because he can't even handle defeat. And you know what Mara can have and you can't? A permanent fruit. We already have permanent fruits. I'm pretty sure they don't even have all of them. When I clearly own 34 leopards and 27 dragons. Now me and Mara are just gonna go on like a sleigh boat. Follow them, Captain. And they seriously got themselves like a little speedboat too. Now Mara's trying to hold my hand. Man, I'm so tired of like people trying to suck me and her when I can easily get out of the boat, transform into like a venom, bro. This is so easy. I just clap one of them. And now the other guy's about to die by my god human. And he's drowning into like the middle of the ocean, bro. Good job, babe. I told Mara to follow me, but she wants me to carry her. How can I carry someone in box through when you can't? Now it's time for me to give her permanent spider for 1.8k Robux. And I'm looking in the chat. There's no way that we lost with this monstrosity. We must take a revenge, Captain. Mara's also freaking out about the permanent spider too. I can wrap you around in my web and I can eat you. And no, you're not allowed to do that, Mara. One little bite? Maybe for later, but not now. I think it's time for me to get these weirdos away from her. We're gonna be solving that issue by going to like the second seas. All right, Mara. Let's just go to the cafe, okay? Since that's your favorite place. So teleport me and her to the cafe. I have an idea. What is your idea? Bro, she wants me to sit down here. Now trade me something. Wait, she wants me to give her something for free once I already gave 
zebra fruit. Okay, I placed some permanent bomb, permanent ice, a dark fruit, and kilo. That seems like a fair trade here. She's also trying to trade me a kilo fruit. Bro, this isn't even fair. This is why you guys should never have a girlfriend, okay? They will finesse everything out of your inventory. Thank you. You always spoil me. Why is this captain guy inside and Sarah just walked in? Hey, I can spoil you more than he does. Sit on this chair, Mara. You're just a menace to society. Have you not seen yourself in a mirror, girl? I'd rather lick my toilet seat than see your face. Here's leopard, baby girl. You can also have love fruit because I love you. I don't want this from you. Sorry. And she rejected all of those big fruits just because of me. Why? Can you just sit back down and just trade me? This guy just made Mara so uncomfortable that she's leaving. Come back. He's just being so weird. I mean, yeah, the guy just told her to shove a fruit down her throat. Any girl would leave after hearing that. And please help me. Do you want me to fight them for you? Yes. Please just get them away from me. So I went back into the cafe. You guys are just making my girl super uncomfortable. We can do whatever we want. We are the pirate crew. You guys are complete trash. Do you guys want to make a bet? Of course we do. If you guys manage to beat me in a fight, you guys can get permanent dragon and you guys can also keep Mara. You're betting on me? Yes, I am. You better trust me on this. No. I just want you to stop making bets that I don't agree to. You're acting like I'm going to lose. Since when did I ever lose a fight? I don't know. But fine, I trust you. Follow me. Now it's time for me to just teleport everyone to the Coliseum. Are you guys ready to lose? Because I'm about to be showing you guys a magic trick. You're going to lose. Yeah, what she said. Alright, fine. Ally up with me, princess. And follow me once I use my portal powers. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, they're using leopard. Okay, while they're attacking me, let's see if they're going to fall for it. Let me just teleport myself to the remote islands. And they're actually trying to follow me here. The captain guy, Mara, even like the Sarah girl just came here. This isn't the arena. Why did you teleport us here? I just wanted to show you guys my big friend. Where? Oh, you guys really want to see him? No. Shut up. Let's fight it out like real men. All right, you guys asked for it because I can just summon my big juicy sea beast right now. Oh my God, they're still attacking me. I'm already down like 25 of my HP, but my giant sea beast just killed Sarah. Why is he so fat? Well, he's the same reason why he's just pushing in the corner like that. And now you're dead. You see, I told you I win this fight. I don't like sea monsters. Well, the guy is gone. Came out of my pants, okay? Does this mean that I'm still yours? Of course you are. Why would I ever let you go? Good. 